Good afternoon everyone, my name is Josh. I'm a Coastal Process Scientist at the Southwest Regional Coastal Monitoring Programme. We are based in the Marine Building at the University of Plymouth's campus. Today, as part of the Down Here and Seaton Ocean Show, I'm going to be speaking to you about the coastal monitoring that we carry out across the Southwest. In particular, focusing on the beaches here, Down Derry and Seaton in South East Cornwall. We are part of a national network of six coastal monitoring programmes around the UK. The program covers over 2,000 kilometres of coastline and monitors 133 beaches across Devon, Dorset and Cornwall. The program is in partnership with 19 local authorities and various organisations such as the Environment Agency. The program collects seven main types of coastal data, which include topographic beach surveys using very accurate GPS devices, bathymetry surveys of the seabed using boats and other watercraft, wave and tidal data via a network of wave buoys and tide gauges, aerial photography, lidar, both captured via aircraft, and also habitat mapping. Every year, we carry out regular beach surveys at Down Derry and Seaton during the spring and autumn months, and also after storm events. Using our highly accurate GPS equipment, we can measure the height of the beach along specific profile lines during a spring low tide. We also take photographs on each profile to capture a snapshot of the beach. This data provides an indication of the sand levels on the beach and the areas that are eroding, losing sand, and the areas that are accreting, gaining sand. Looking at this graph from one of our recent surveys at Down Derry and Seaton, we can see the red areas indicate erosion and the green areas show accretion. The following maps show how the beach levels at Down Derry and Seaton have changed over time. The red areas show erosion and the blue areas show accretion. From these regular surveys, we are able to build up a picture of how the beach changes over seasonal and long-term cycles in response to storm events. Now, some of you may remember the extreme storms that hit the southwest of the UK during 2013 and 2014. This highly unusual sequence of high water levels and energetic waves caused widespread flooding and coastal erosion across the southwest. Seaton Beach was severely impacted during these storms, experiencing high levels of erosion caused by large storm waves. Due to the extreme amounts of rainfall during the storms, the river at Seaton Beach changed course directly in front of the car park wall, captured by our LiDAR data here shown on this map. Eventually, the wall became very unstable and collapsed onto the beach. The wall was then rebuilt and large rocks were placed in front of the wall to provide protection from future storms. Thanks for listening to my talk today guys. I hope you enjoyed it and learned lots of interesting things about the coastal environment and why it's so important that we continue to monitor it and understand how it's changing over time. Thanks guys, bye!